I am continuing to work through these problems, the Feynman lecture series exercises on Caltech website. And so I've already done a lot of these. I, I did that one, I did that one, I did that one, I did that one. This one I did a whole bunch of times. And so now I'm on this one right here. Uh, and let's just see how it goes. Okay, so I'll list, uh, give a link to the all of my other solutions so far and to the Caltech's website where you can find all these problems. And there are solutions. I have not looked at the solution. Uh, I'm just going to do them from scratch. I really haven't even looked at this problem um, except for the, the name, Boat Anchor Lake. Okay, so a fisherman rowing his boat on a very small lake throws his anchor into the water. Does the level of the lake rise, fall, or stay the same? This is one of those classic problems that are kind of like a gotcha problem. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad problem, but it, you know, you never have a, a lake that's small enough that you'd be able to measure this. But let's just, just do this anyway. Okay, so let's just start with, um, I'm not gonna use the lake, I'm gonna use a bowl. So here's my bowl of water, and then here's my boat, and then here is my anchor. Okay, so <clears throat> let's first think about why this thing floats. So, I mean, we can use Archimedes' principle. Um, you know, I can explain it different ways, but I don't think that we really need to get into that. But in general, there's going to be two forces on this system. There'll be the downward gravitational force, uh, Mg, and then the upward buoyancy force, Fb. And so, if this is at rest, then these two things are the same, and the magnitude of the buoyancy force is equal to uh, the density of water. It's, it's the weight of the water displaced, so that's going to be the density of the water the volume of displacement times g. So let's say that um, this, I shouldn't have drawn a little bigger, let's call this h and let's call this um, d for the depth of the water. So at this instant, the depth of the water is some value uh, and this is the, this region in here would be the weight of the water displaced. So let's call that A is a cross-sectional area. So this would be um, rho times the volume of the water displaced, which would be A times H times G, and that'd be equal to the weight. So that's gonna be the mass of the anchor times G plus the mass of the boat times G. Now, I think that, uh, now the question is, what happens if I take this and put it on the bottom? So let's just go ahead and put this on the bottom. And so it's made out of metal and I assume it sinks. So it definitely has some displacement. By, by adding this to the water, you should raise the level. But what up here now what's gonna happen is the boat's gonna be at a, it's not gonna have to displace as much water in order to, to support it because the mass of the boat by itself is less than the mass plus the anchor. So this would be, um, I'm trying to decide how to draw this because I drew it poorly in the first place, like that. And so this distance is H2, I'm gonna call it D2. So the water level should decrease because the boat has less displacement, but it should increase because you throw the ink in there. And so the, which, which one of those takes, takes over more? Okay, so let's call this uh, the volume of the anchor. So the volume of this, so the question is, what's greater? The volume of the anchor or the change in uh, volume from here to there? Okay, so so the volume right here, this is gonna be, I can solve for that, the volume of displacement, it's this. So let's say VD is equal to MA plus MB times G divided by the density of water. Now down here, uh, the the volume, let's say volume of the anchor is going to be the density of the anchor times the mass, let's see, dense, uh, 
the mass, you know, it, the mass density is mass divided by volume. Why can I cannot remember that? Density is mass over volume. So the volume of the anchor is going to be the mass of the anchor divided by the density of the anchor. And now what's the volume of this up here? Uh, this is going to be equal to uh, the volume of displacement 2 is going to be equal to the mass of the boat times g over the density. Okay, so this is how much the water level rises with the boat and the anchor in the boat. And VA plus VD2 is the other one. So here I have MA plus MB times G divided by rho. And I'm comparing that to uh, MA over rho A plus MBG over rho, that's the density of water. So this, I can separate this, right? I'm making this way more complicated. MAG over rho plus MBG over rho to rho equals MA, oh, there should be a G there. Yeah. MAG over rho A, no, that's just, The volume. Oh, if I'm just. MA, that's true. That's V divided by rho G. Okay, so this G cancels. That G's not there. That G's not there. No G's. Okay, so let me write this on another piece of paper because I'm, I'm running out of room here. But I think I got it. So I have MA over rho plus MB over rho, and we're comparing that to uh, MA over rho A plus MB over rho. So which one is a greater volume? So the difference here is that this, the density of the anchor, is greater than the density of water or wouldn't sink. And that means that this term is smaller than that. So the volume at the end is smaller. So the since the volume of displacement is smaller, the water level should go down. Okay. So let's think about this one other way. Because here's the here's the key thing. I'm gonna draw a better boat this time. So there's my boat with the anchor in it. And in this case, this boat has to displace enough water to support that anchor. Now, if I put the anchor on the bottom, then there is something different going on. There is a buoyancy on the anchor, but there's also a normal force. Since it's sitting on the ground, it does not displace as much water as it does up here. It displaces more water up here because that displacement makes it float. Okay. I don't, I don't really like this because it's a lot of like back and forth arguing, especially since you're dealing with a small volume of water, um, and that makes it more complicated. But I think that is the answer, that the water level goes down. Now, wait. I can do something better. We can actually do this experiment. And so I don't normally do experiments. But I'm going to do this as an experiment and so we can see what happens uh, in this volume of water. Let's do that. I got a little cup. I got a couple cups. Okay, so here I have a beaker of water. I have an empty beaker and I have a mass. So this is my small lake. This is my boat. And that's my anchor. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Oh, and, and just so you know, this is a 20 grams. I, I found the mass of this is 50 grams. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, and then, so let's mark here. I don't think it matters, but I'm gonna mark here the, the level, the pre-level. So if we want to go back and look at that. Okay, so that's my, my level to begin with. I'm gonna add my anchor into my boat. Okay, now it is leaning against the side, and it shouldn't do that, but it does, and that's fine. So this is going to be, uh, it's about, what, 175? Because that's where it is. Now I'm going to take the anchor out and put it in the water. Tip that over. 
and that's put this. And so now you see that the, the water level did go up a little bit. It's really hard to tell, but it did because there's that extra thing in there. And then I add this and there you go. Now it's at, what's that one, I guess that's 175 right there. So it's, it went from about a uh, small change in bond. So by taking the anchor out of the boat, putting it in the water, the water level went down. There's your answer. Again, it's not my favorite problem, but there you have it. Uh, link to the, I'm pointing that way, uh, link to the rest of my solutions, link to the Caltech site, uh, all down there. So go have fun with that.